god, it started raining. Quick, let's get in the tent. I did not expect it to start raining. So, how are you doing? Good. Thanks for coming on this camping trip with me. I know it might have been kind of weird, but you know, I haven't seen you in three months. And I believe that since we've been friends, since we were like 10 years old that I deserve some sort of seniority when it comes to your time when you come back from your fancy Michigan college <laughs> but really I missed you Yes, we're going to have to put off the s'mores. Yeah, exactly. I just, something gives me an idea that a fire wouldn't work right now. I know. I know. I just, I'm just, I'm just psychic. I just, I have the gift. The gift of fire efficiency. past three months. I heard things you and Lizzie um okay. I did I I saw somebody talking about it and by somebody it was probably just relationship status on Facebook. Your Facebook. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, but I'm sorry to hear that. Um, must have been really difficult. You were together for like, I don't know, like six months? It was five months? Okay. Um, yeah. So, how are you feeling about that? Okay. So you're good then. Cool. No, no, I know that she was important to you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, 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 I'm not. I'm not judging. Everybody takes their own amount of time. You know, three months is a really long time to get over someone, so don't even worry about it. I know that feelings are important. So, how long ago? It was three months. So, was that after? You came to visit? Right after? Okay. Yeah. <sighs> that mood got weird. Hmm, what can we talk about to you? I remember how we first met. 
Yeah. I was... Everybody was making fun of me on the playground, and you stepped in, and you told everybody that they were cheeseheads. <laughs> Do you remember that? Cheeseheads. Oh, it's a perfectly reputable insult. I mean, you were like 12, but... You are like that. Calling someone a cheesehead is slightly more acceptable for a ten year old. <laughs> but you stood up for me. For everybody. Thank you. I mean I probably thanked you for that before. Pretty sure I thanked you as soon as it happened. But thank you. Thank you. <sighs> um, I was gonna, I was gonna show you a video on my phone, but it's dead, and my charger is in your truck, and I personally don't want to go through the pouring rain out to your truck and then sit in your cold truck when we have perfectly good sleeping bags here. <laughs> oh, and speaking of which, I did bring my own sleeping bag, and it is the one from our last camping trip together in sixth grade. <laughs> With the sixth grade school trip, you remember? It is Barbie, and it's bright purple, and it is roughly two sizes too small. So I am going to be sleeping inside the sleeping bag equivalent of the Grinch's heart before he discovered the true meaning of Christmas. That's something to look for. You said earlier, um, I mean it was just a quick thing, but you said that you had something for me. I mean, the camping trip has been good enough. Is, um, do you still have it? in the rain. Oh crap. I... I can't... All the words are blurred together. Um, I'm so, so, I'm so sorry. I can't read it. Do you remember what it said? Oh, um, that's okay. It's totally okay. No, I mean, there's a reason why you wrote it down, right? So there's nothing? It's okay if it's too personal.
actually there's something I want to tell you uh, I really I really want to go back to that taco place we went that one time with Paul you remember <laughs> No, that's, that's all I needed to say. I know, it's so dramatic. <laughs> huh. But yeah, they were the best tacos that I've ever had. And ever will have. Do you remember when we were 16 and I didn't have a date to the prom? And you were like, screw the prom, who needs a prom? And instead of going to the prom, we hung out at your house and watched The Princess Bride. Was it in your room or was it in the living room? Right, it's because you have a couch in your room, that's why I forget. And we ate the nastiest pizza. I have ever had in my entire life and I ended up wearing my prom dress to your house because I was like, hey, I spent $45 on this, I might as well use it and I got the world's nastiest pizza grease stain right here, all over. It was Probably one of the best nights of my life. You're always there for me. I can never thank you enough for that. And it became a tradition too, the pizza thing. Although to be fair, we had much better pizza the second time. Of course. After that prom, there was just one more prom, so it just happened twice, but it was good. <laughs> it was that much. It was much better than prom. <laughs> you still don't remember what the note said? Okay. <laughs> it's okay. Tired? Um, well, I'm a little tired. It's like 11 p.m., a little bit after that. I don't remember because my phone's dead. <laughs> Probably around 11. Oh no, I'll be fine in my tiny little Barbie sleeping bag where you have a sleeping bag that is the equivalent of a king size bed and is good down to negative 20 degrees Fahrenheit so alright show off person I'll be fine I mean I mean if you want to there's definitely enough room with, no, it wouldn't be. It wouldn't be weird. I mean, we're just friends, right? So it's totally okay. Actually, before that, I have something I want to say for real this time. I. I am 
completely. I wanted to tell you three months ago. I wanted to tell you for so long. I didn't. I didn't want to make things weird. You were with Lizzie, and I, I didn't. I didn't want to interrupt anything. If it was important, I didn't. Been. I'm gonna mess everything up. I've been completely in love with you since we were 16. You, you want a hug? I mean, okay, okay. Started raining. Quick, let's get in the tent. <laughs> Definitely did not expect it to start raining. <laughs> How are you doing? Okay. Yeah. I guess we're not gonna. No, I know. It, I just, I have a feeling. I know. I just, I have this thing. This fire efficiency detection thing. Where I just, I just get these intuitions. This fiery sense. That s'mores are not going to work out right now. Thanks for coming on this camping trip with me. It means a lot to me. Yeah. I haven't seen you in three months. Yeah. It's much too long. You're away in your fancy Michigan college show off. I'm... oh no. Community college is incredibly underrated. Actually, it's really great because I pay so little fees that I'm only partially starving after buying textbooks and supplies and gas. Oh, it's totally good. <laughs> and FAFSA is definitely not the biggest joke in the world. I know. It's weird talking about this with you. I've known you since when we were like 10 years old, I think. Do you remember how we met? Yeah. I was made fun of and 
you stepped in and told everyone they were a big bunch of cheese heads. Oh no, it's totally okay. You were ten. She said it's perfectly good insult for a ten-year-old, amongst other ten-year-olds. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, how have you been? Um, I mean, so much has happened in the past three months. I haven't heard from you very much. I know you're busy. How are the dorms? Yeah, I'd imagine sharing a room with a fellow young adult is not the world's most clean and courteous experience. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. How are things with Lizzie? Are you, are you okay? Okay? You're doing well right now? Okay. okay. Well, great. I'm glad that you're doing okay. Yeah. When did that been three months ago. Was that after? Right after, okay. So, okay. Uh, well, it's good that you didn't have kids, cause that's some baggage. distract you with another fond memory. Um, yeah. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm glad you found it funny. <laughs> right. Do you remember that time that I almost drowned when we were 13? At the pool, yep. Yeah. Yeah. It was really scary, but I can, I can tell you from the beginning, I know you like it when I retell stories of our past. So, okay. I was lying on the side of the pool in my new two-piece because I was a teenager and I need to prove it. And there was that other kid. What was his name? Chad. Yes. Chad Bernstrom. Yes. And he had this completely obvious crush on me, but he would pretend that he didn't if you asked. And he was like, okay. And he walked up to me. And he was like, trying to show off or whatever, and I wasn't really paying attention. Chad's not really my type, if you know what I mean. So, uh, he tried to look cool and he dived into the pool, and then Chad started like thrashing around, and I was like, oh my god, Chad is gonna die trying to impress me. I need to like do something. And so I jumped in after Chad instead of like notifying the lifeguard and then Chad was fine. He totally was faking it to get attention, which is horrible to say, but that's literally what he did. And then I actually started running and I like inhaled water and uh, I don't know. I don't really remember too much after that. I just know that I opened my eyes and I was on the side of the pool and 
everyone was standing around me, and you were right there, and you had this, just the most concerned look on your face, and I always, I don't know, I remember your face, and it was sweet. It's really sweet. And I was coughing up water and blah blah blah. I was okay. An actual lifeguard saved me. So I'm glad you were there. It was nice opening my eyes and seeing you there. You're always there. gonna bring you a note, but it got completely soaked in the rain, so I guess that's how I'll tell you another time, I guess. I do indeed have the world's smallest Barbie sleeping bag, thank you for asking. <sighs> oh man. Would it be like super weird if I zipped my tiny Barbie sleeping bag to your huge giant hardcore military grade sleeping bag so that I don't die of hypothermia? Is that okay? <sighs> oh my god, thank goodness I did not expect it to be this cold. And anyway, thanks. I was underprepared. And as always, you're here to save the day. Thank you. try to I could try to say it roughly what I wrote uh, didn't you say you had something to tell me earlier uh, I think maybe you can say it first so I don't have to it's it's not a big deal it's just something that I was thinking about and I wanted to share. It's just something I've been thinking about for a little bit, and I thought I would let you know, but you first. <sighs> yeah, I'm, I'm listening. Tell me later. Wouldn't it be weird if we had 
the same thing to say. That'd be interesting. Uh, I'm not. Nope. No hints. I'll just. I'll tell you once I'm completely ready. So, things with Lizzie done? Yeah. Yeah, if you're okay, then I'm, I'm happy for you that, you know, it was probably for the best, so, yeah. <sighs> okay, why don't we just say what we want to say and... That'll be done. You go first. I'm ready. I hope- yeah. I'm listening. Go ahead. Mm-hmm. gonna say <laughs> I love you too <laughs> yeah I'll give you a hug since we were 15. Really? Why didn't you say anything? <laughs> You're so stupid. I'm stupid too. <laughs> 